Yes guys, welcome back to Hair System DIY. I'm your hair system expert, Adam. I'm the host of this channel. If you're not subscribed yet and you have been watching my content, you find it useful, you think you might find it useful in the future, why not give me a subscribe? I'd really appreciate it. It helped this channel grow, more people can find this content. And talking of content, today we're gonna to be looking at plucking the hairline, why it's important, why should we even be doing this, but also things to be wary of when you are plucking the hairline. Now I'm gonna be walking you through this myself. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial so that you can do it on your system if you want to. What I will say, this is a poly system. This seems to be a lot more common with polys than it does with lace. So if I push my hair back, you'll notice that some of the hairs just naturally come forward. And no amount of back brushing no amount of back brushing will seemingly get rid of it. And this is where it can be really useful to actually do some plucking for two reasons. One of the reasons I just explained, the other reason is because sometimes with polys, they can appear thicker at the front and can give the appearance of fakeness potentially, because naturally, if you think about a human hairline, a natural human hairline, it's fairly graduated. So it's a little bit thinner at the front and then it gets progressively more dense. First off, brush your hair back and just see, that's the only way that you can tell which actual hairs are gonna be the stragglers. So for instance, I can see a couple here and there's usually, what you generally find is the stragglers are the one, they tend to be a lot more around the sides. Again, I don't really know why that is, but that's what we're gonna be working on. And the most important thing about doing this is don't tug. Don't tug really hard because you're risking breaking the base. You're risking tearing the base and also you're risking weakening the base as well. I just want you to do exactly what I'm doing. So you wanna grab the hairs so I'm just gonna look in my mirror so I've got a better view of it. So just here, and literally don't tug hard, just pull it down. And you'll notice that some of the hairs are already coming off. Now they're not all gonna come in one go, you have to be quite delicate with this, but they do eventually go. Just pull them, pull them, don't tug, pull. So I'm just gonna pull some of these out. And as you can see, some of the hairs slowly but surely are coming out. Now, I'm not gonna go through this whole process with you because it's probably gonna take about 10 to 20 minutes and you'd just be wasting your own time, but I want you to follow this technique. Where the stragglers are, so number one, pull the other hair back. The hair that goes back, you don't have to worry about that. I mean, you can, you can start plucking some of those if you want to, if you want a really graduated look, but we're not gonna go into it in this particular video. We're just gonna get rid of the essentials, the ones that really stand out. So you just wanna to go towards that clump of hair and again, grab it and slowly just pull down, pull down and it will not damage the base, okay? And as you can see already, this clump of hair is getting thinner and thinner and it's not even taking that long, okay? And as long as you follow this method, the base will not tear. Grab it, pull downwards, don't tug, do not tug and don't take massive clumps of hair at once. It's a patience game, guys, okay? It's a patience game. So I spent about 10 to 15 minutes just plucking out the hairs that were sort of coming down onto my forehead. This is literally just the last one. Quite a lot of hair came out. That, that was literally just from one, one pull. Um, so I did that about maybe like 50 times, and it still looks pretty thick. The importance and the emphasis of this video was getting rid of the front bits. If you like to have your hair up, it just looks a bit tidier. It's never gonna be a perfect hairline with this particular base because it's thicker than an ultra thin skin, and it's not as invisible as, for instance, a Swiss lace or a French lace. So with this kind of system, never expect a perfect hairline. However, you can tidy up a lot. Now, I hope you found that video useful, guys. It's a really great way of, of a really great low risk, minimum risk way of basically getting rid of hairs which are in the way, not landing with the other hair. And it's much, much safer than going out with a pair of scissors or trying to cut the hair shorter or anything like that. It's nice, it's easy, it's really hard to get wrong. Talking of getting things wrong, here's a video popping up on the screen right now. You might wanna check it. Mistakes I made when wearing a system. It's really interesting and quite funny. Things I wish I knew.